holy cows are bovine not divine the world is changing for worse more and more things ideas stories are being considered holy we seem to be moving in a sort of an anti rational anti logical anti scientific direction i discuss religion regularly as to how it diminishes us today let's look at a few other uh, holy cows uh, political correctness or sensitivism if you must uh, it's 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 one of these you know holy cows which i get very irritated with sometimes let's look at a few examples it is felt it is culturally felt that equal status must be given to all alternative explanations so evolution which is a proven scientific fact a proven scientific explanation of facts many people think it's as valid as creationism which is uh, you know uh, a highly american and now increasingly european concept but even if you go elsewhere uh, to explain life people think that their science is only one of the explanations and that too it is not a complete explanation and the complete explanation is their religion now and and others who ought to know better they allow this canard to be spread stupid other thing is that all opinions are equal now how much an opinion is based on evidence logical thinking painstaking work how much of it actually stands the scrutiny of reality that people don't look at if you give them a rigorous understanding of something uh, they would reject it quite simply saying that oh you believe so i believe something else uh, you know it's it's it, it's fine your belief my belief uh, who knows uh, i get regularly in in tests with many people and when they have no answer that's what they use so a cousin of mine he was regularly posting some gory pictures of uh, palestinians uh, being hurt by israeli uh, violence and i said fine uh, that is true but you also look at what palestinians can actually do you do them greater service if instead of just reposting these gory photos and uh making people more and more angry and more and more fucked up in the head you might want to suggest some real alternatives what has violence gained for palestinians in the last 60 years three generations have gone by fucked completely and violence has not given any solution to them now violence works if you are really the most powerful entity around you can beat people into submission and many powerful almost all powerful entities do that with others you know palestine itself was not arabic speaking territory arabic was spoken only the, in the environs of mecca but as islam spread from there you have a huge swet uh, on world map that speaks arabic how did that happen if not by by the application of power and violence by arabs but nobody is willing to look at anything else they will just insist on their statement and if they if they don't have a logical counter they will just say oh it's opinion versus opinion and that 
is accepted as a valid defense that is being increasingly accepted as a valid defense which is like really stupid another cousin just a few days back he made a statement which was grounded into into communal thought process communal as in relating to a community so it was rooted into the thought about Muslims or specifically about Indian Muslims the problem with Indian Muslims is that we are highly communal and yet we tend to think that only the other party is communal only the the, the, the Hindus or the Hindutvites are communal they are of course they are but so is a huge 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 majority of Muslims and they are just not even willing to consider where it is clearly communalism speaking and he got really upset he's still upset with me I don't know how to explain it to him because he's just not willing to look at the logic he simply said oh you always side with Hindus a funny thing is my Hindu friends my RSS friends, my Hindu white friends, they always say, oh, you are a Muslim. You will always side with Muslims. And I was just sick of that. I mean, talk logic, man. Talk evidence. And why they are allowed to go scot-free is because of this holy cow of sensitivism, of political correctness that all opinions are equal fuck you sit down prove why you're saying something is true you know I do like this and jump from a 40-story building I'll start flying if that is the opinion I hold then I'm really stupid and nobody should say that somebody who's telling me man you'll fall down and die should be considered on par his, his whose opinion should be considered on par with mine oh come on I'm being really stupid and I should be called out on that but I'm not still another aspect of this whole political correctness all humans are equal without regard to their capabilities so 5 percent tile person is equal to 95 percent tile person what bullshit is this this perhaps is the whole canard which has been spread by uh, by the people who want you to believe in in free marketism and capitalism and whatever i suspect i don't have a logic for that it's the idea just has been popping up so for a while so i just said it but Again, I had a tiff with a close friend some time back. I think we have too many tiffs. Maybe there's something wrong with my head. So, uh, so this one, uh, and and she was sitting across with me and Satish, and uh, uh, she was kind of saying that I should go and help Satish in cooking. And she was telling Satish that that he should help earn money for the household. Now. I don't know why she's a very educated person very sensible person yet she doesn't realize what she has suggested because her thought process is rooted in this whole political correctness just like my other cousin's thought process was rooted in communalism and he wouldn't recognize that so this one uh, she says uh, you know I should do cooking now I am in five percentile uh, of cooks very very poor cook Satish is 95 percentile of cooks very very good cook I am in 95 percentile of earners and if he were to go out and earn money he would be in 5 percentile of earners so what is it going to do here where all the earning happens at 95 percentile level that will be pulled down and here the cooking which is done by 95 percentile will also be pulled down 
both will be pulled down to 50 percent from both being at 95 percentile they'll come down to 50 percentile and this in a in in a mind infected with political correctness in a mind infected with this particular holy cow just just makes you talk crap why because the solution will fuck up both our earning as well as our eating why and this discussion went on for two days and yet this person who's very intelligent was not able to understand or appreciate the point just like these my other cousins very loving very caring very intelligent yet they wouldn't be able they weren't able to appreciate the point i was making because of this holy cow let's look at another holy cow nationalism or sedition which is like really 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 uh, you know uh, making waves these days in india every damn thing you say can be considered anti-national you can be guilty of sedition purely because you're breathing faster than somebody else or your nose is shaped like differently or whatever i don't understand every damn thing becomes anti-national and this without anyone ever clearing in their heads what does the word nation mean what does the word nation mean is it the people or is it the territory most likely the people i would say what is a nation state people or territory to me most likely territory now how does it matter for a for a for a person or even for a so-called nation to be so invested into territory already zillions of nations are spread out across territories and what really is a nation look at india in 1946 were all indians a nation nation i don't know because muslims then many muslims then were claiming that they are a separate nation and that resulted in them getting a different country the result was pathetic many people lost their lives many uh, and and that that whole thing was could not have been taken to its logical conclusion it is impossible to move people so diversely spread out across borders like that it is impossible yet that canard was spread and believed in that indian muslims constitute a different nation compared to indian hindus the difference was only in ideology religion is really an ideology what is ideology a developed idea so it was just a matter of one fucking stupid idea and that fucked up so many millions of lives and obviously it was faulty because a few years later a few decades later the bengalis stood up and said we are not one nation with you we are a separate nation and they are happily living as a separate nation today quite obviously the whole concept of nation is really faulty what about territorial integrity that's that's really bandied about regularly now as i said to me the words nation or the concepts nations and nation states are really as i mean they've outlived their usefulness just like religion has let's look at this this whole concept of territorial integrity this particular crag on the himalayas belongs to our nation oh wow now that was the canard of a dictator who wanted to 
gain more and more territory how does it matter to a sovereign democratic individual which is what any democracy has at its apex what does he have to do with that particular crag with with any of the nation states boundaries what does it have to do we are all human beings we are one species if at all there has to be a nation state it should be of the whole species where humans or human artifacts exist all humans are one nation and the nation state of humans is everywhere where humans exist or human artifacts exist to me that's that's really clear but it doesn't seem to be clear to many many people and they happily send people to kill each other you know we keep having wars and all wars are really because of some stupid holy cow somewhere this this nationalism really is that holy cow which has resulted in the loss of many lives how is it justifiable for for uh, an officer or a or a jawan of an army to kill another one across uh, the border of a different so called nation state they don't even know in fact even the bloody leaders also don't know why they are fighting very often they they fight because they have to win some bloody election at home and every little territorial issue that they are fighting for it really can be solved in many other ways and why should it be important to hold on to territories for nation states for concepts yes it is important for concrete for people to hold on to their territories but why is it important for concepts to hold on to territories uh, you know i'm i'm not really making a very good case of it but i'm just sort of thinking on the fly but my primary point is that today our biggest challenge is not really uh, you know some particular difference of opinion with the people across the border but the real challenge today is the impending ecological imperative i have been talking about that for a long time writing about it see elsewhere in my work you'll find what it is fundamentally it is that we have screwed the earth so much that it's going to screw us back and unless we get together we will not be able to correct the situation and that will not work in a fragmented world the concept of nation state has to go yes you have to i will always love indians more than i will love chinese but equally i will always love um, hindi or hindustani or urdu speaking people more than i will love khasi speaking people and within hindi hindustani speaking people i will love always love bhopalis more than i will love uh, uh gorakhpuris for example and within bhopal i will always love people of my extended family uh, more than i will love those of some other extended family and within the extended family i will always love those that i consider my immediate family more than you know those who are little more distant so this and something fell down so i was just checking what that was so this is really amazing how how holy cows really screw us dry so uh before i move on to to the conclusion i just want to point out, point out that if something is true there's only one version of that more or less minor things might be different where there is still difference of opinion but by and large 
the salient points are agreed to and they stay the same there's only one physics there's only one chemistry so if any religion was true there would be only one religion so similarly if any nation state were really true as it were you know people why do people not see that for a Chinese it's perfectly fine to die for China and for Indian it's perfectly fine to die for India and then obviously this whole concept of nation state is meaningless the two are fighting about some particular issue at hand that should be resolved with talks or with evidence or with logic why does it need people to lay down their lives there can be only one right thing if you look at the logic of it anyway so so my point is this that there should be only one nation state that's the point I'm making there's no need to have armies there's no need to have violence except with the individuals who who do violence to others in every other case I do not think violence can be justified in any way so if violence cannot be justified there cannot be armed forces and if there cannot be armed forces obviously the whole reason they are fighting cannot be valid also so nationalism is just a holy cow which is grazing on our lives like that there are many holy cows which are really making life difficult for us thing is holy cows make us stupid bovine as it were they rob us of a humanity why why do I say that because all holy cows emanate from ideas and ideologies which are just developed ideas more and more developed ideas so these are nothing but little fractions of one individuals of brain waves that is what an idea is right now you can develop a little so in, in a whole life or whatever 70 years or whatever while your brain is doing so many other things it is developing a particular idea how much time are you giving it how much of your uh, the portion of brain you're giving it but then you come up with an idea and you advance that idea and somebody else likes that idea he finds it sacrosanct and then he advances it further takes it to further logical destinations but also in it is just an idea right and if the original germ of an idea that it was if it itself is faulty in general or it is faulty in current time and space where we are trying to implement it in some way the result really is a monstrosity that does disservice to humans in a changing world and again I'll just come back to that that how can we forget that the original germ of an idea in, in one person's head was just a minuscule fraction of his or her brain function and we actually consider it truer greater than the whole cosmos of which this person and this idea was just a minuscule part so if I live by holy cows then I'm myself bovine or at best a cowherd if I want to be an intelligent human being then I must use my fucking head and not that of deceased holy men sorry I was very um, scatterbrained today so it must have been a pain to to listen to me I'll try to do better next time thanks bye